Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, shoot me now. Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, we're gonna die, yeah. Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, Trumps and charge, I got nightmares now. Trumps in charge, Trumps in charge, Trumps in charge, shoot me now! Okay, so it's done. Every check and balance that we put in place has been bypassed or overcome. And now, hello President Trump. The Electoral College did what they were supposed to do and they put a rubber stamp on this election and now we have four years of President Trump. Let me be among the first to say congratulations President Trump and I am behind you to do a great job. I have my reservations, I have trepidation and I have a deep an abiding concern as to what you will do. Obviously not enough people had that concern for you to not become president. So, okay, we, um, this is uncharted territory, folks. This is uncharted territory. We are now at a place and our history is America where we don't know what comes next. We have a person who is president who thinks that he can do anything that he wants. But the one thing that I want to put out there and I want to make very, very clear, the interview is over. Donald Trump has been hired to be the president of the United States. People, that means that now Donald Trump works for the American people. He works for each and every one of us. And it's up to us as the American people to make sure that that holds true. The president is a servant to the people, not a master. So it's important that we, the people, make that abundantly clear. What we want as the American people is what should matter. And if you listen to what Donald Trump said as he campaigned, he claimed to be for all people. So now we will get to see if that will play itself out. And that's all I, I really want to say is that as president, Donald Trump has been hired to work for all of the American people. But it is up for the American, uh, it is up to the American people to make sure that he is working for us and not against us. So far, every sign points to Donald Trump working for Donald Trump. Well, we need to change that paradigm. We need to make it very clear and to make sure he knows that he's working for us. And we need to make sure that we hold him accountable for what he does. And we need to make sure that we do what we didn't do with Bush. We make sure that we do what we didn't do with Obama. Eight years of Obama. We did not hold either of them accountable. It's like when we have a president, we put them up on a pedestal and we let them do whatever they want. We trust their judgment. Well, let's see where that's gotten us. Well, it hasn't gotten us to very good places. So right now, I think every American has to pledge to make sure that we hold this president accountable. Four years is not a long time, but it is enough time to do considerable damage worldwide. That's one of the things about America is that it's like California 
What happens in California echoes throughout the rest of the country because California is so large. America is like the California of the world. What we do and what happens in America echoes out to the rest of the world. It's rare that what happens in the rest of the world will echo back to America. So we have to be aware that what we do here matters. What our president does matters, not just to us, but to the world. So that if we close off from the world and we say, America first, guess what? That does not help because what will happen is the rest of the world will suffer for that. And eventually it will echo back and we will suffer for it. So that's the last, that's the thing I want to leave you with is that if America closes itself off from the rest of the world, what happens in the rest of the world will eventually start to echo back to America. And then we'll have to play catch up. So, we have a country that is divided, that will be divided, but the president can be a really big part of bringing the country together. He can use that bully pulpit of the presidency to make things happen. My greatest fear is that that will be the president after Donald Trump. What he will do remains to be seen. And I will pray for him every day that he does what's best for America and not just what's best for Donald Trump. I wish I hold no ill will against him because he is now my president as well as everyone else's and we cannot hold ill will against someone who was put into place to do the job for the American people. So best of luck, President Trump, and good luck because you're gonna need it. You know, Capitol Hill and the political games that they play is nothing to laugh at. Capitol Hill and the games that they play, oh my God. Just looking at the eight years of Obama, we've seen the games they play and how dirty they can get. So it's going to be, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. So God help us everyone.